Hey, this is Todd. Uh, tech day today. Because um, it's going to snow out. It's not snowing yet, but it's going to. Um, right here in Denver, Colorado. Sony 3036, uh, JH110s, clowns, JH24s, Studer 800, more clowns. Um, I had an issue where um, channel 16 wasn't going into record. Um, you know, and it's real easy to diagnose because the uh, red LED on the re on the remote doesn't come on, and you can't you know do anything about it. Uh, real uh, quick test to find out if it's the uh, remote uh, connection or uh, it's on the unit on the JH24 itself is to flip flop the connectors in the back. You know, like if it's on channel 16. Um, take out, uh, you know, take this connector and then connect it in here, and, and, and if the problem goes to channel 8, you know, then you know it's uh, in the remote, or the remote connection. So, most obvious thing is uh, the LED goes out, um, and they, MCI made those real easy to replace. They didn't even like, you know, they're just flying leads like right off the uh, traces of the circuit board there. They do go bad, um, common thing. Not not super super common, but it does happen. Uh, they knew it, um, and it's a it's a safety feature because you wouldn't want to go into record and not have the uh, notification light on there because you might erase something or record over something that you really wanted. Um, so I get it. Um, so we replaced the LED and it still didn't work. And the only other thing I you know I checked the uh, traces on the circuit board here. It's a direct connection, and uh, pop the uh, pop this and there's a. Uh, <laughs> there's a lead just not even attached uh, just broke off the solder it's right at the very end there so yeah so gonna resolder that and be back in business